who in this close group of, group of friends is always buying the same pairs of shoes or purchasing the same um app that uh not app uh outfit that you have or who's in the group that says yeah me too anytime you say something or you share a sort a story they're always like yeah me too and i did this too yes, beloved welcome to wasted traditions tarot i'm tiffany come on in here for your sunday tea tarot this is a, ge a general collective reading and we're going to go ahead and get started to find out what's the tea there's some work going on in my neighborhood this morning um so please bear with me all right what's the tea Spirit, what do you need the beloved humans to know for their Sunday tea tarot for Sunday, March 17th? I will link last week's Sunday tea tarot in the cards and the description below. Do tell, Spirit. Karmic friends. Impersonator bad karma all right good people let's get into it karmic friends can't fully trust them tension secret competition keep your friends close and your enemies closer impersonator wants to be you acts like dresses like looks like copies you and bad karma all right let's find out Karmic friends. So obviously there's someone in your circle, beloved, that is not who they claim to be. Um, they are in competition with you. And normally with friends, there is no competition. We're friends. We root each other on. We know that if one of us levels up, all of us level up. But there's someone in your circle who claims to be a trusted friend we can't fully trust them, the world. So, uh, the hermit. Hmm. All right, so with this karmic friend, keep your enemies closer. You're going to have to open your eyes up, beloved. You're going to have to open your eyes to... Who's in your circle? What they're saying. Does their action match their speech? That's what I'm feeling with this world card. Because if you are not careful, beloved, things will come crashing down. That's what I'm feeling with this. This is actually happening. It's going to happen. <clears throat> because we have all four fixed uh, zodiac signs on the world card. <clears throat> That you're going to have to start diligently and discerningly pay attention. And then we have the hermit with this karmic friends. It feels like with this person that should be watched very closely. They have a lot of excuses as to why they can't be there for you. Why they can't support you in the way you've been supporting them. Um, it's always an excuse. They take more than they give. There's not a lot, a lot of reciprocity with this person. They are very, very close. This is a very close group of friends. You're like the world to each other, so it seems. But this one person, you cannot fully trust them because their actions don't match their words. They're always hiding out somewhere in a time of need or a time of support with plenty of excuses as to why they can't be there for you. Like you have been there for them in their time of need, whether it was a time of need and challenge or a time of need and celebration, right? They just all of a sudden disappear. That's what I'm feeling with this hermit card. They disappear on you very quickly. Yeah, they disappear very quickly when times get tough. They want to be, they want to be the boss of this group of friends. For some reason, they are in competition to be the leader, to be the um 
head of the group to be the decision maker. They want people, uh, they want the, your group of friends to follow their lead. They really have a, a real need and greed for power is what I'm getting with this emperor card. They are very insecure in themselves. And so they're always trying so hard to act like they fit into the group when they really they have an agenda their agenda is to be the leader boss the group around um and they are working diligently behind the scenes to basically ruin this this group of friends this is really a cautionary thing watch your close group of friends they are very close this is not just acquaintances because what this world card is telling me these folks are very close and there is an individual who is trying to get the ear of the others to make their campaign as why they should be trusted more than anyone else in the group and everyone should follow their lead and do what they say that's what i'm feeling with that the impersonator <laughs> this is it feels like you're the leader, beloved. Not that you've intentionally grabbed the lead of this group and gotten to emperor position in this group. It just was organic. The group felt so comfortable uh, with your your um, decisions and your inspiration and just felt really good with your energy. So I'm also feeling, beloved, that you are the informal leader of this group so this person who's not truly who they say they are they want to knock you off your throne because here's the impersonator they wants to be you acts like dresses like looks like copies you open your eyes who in this close group group of friends is always buying the same pairs of shoes or purchasing the same um app that uh not app uh, outfit that you have or who's in the group that says yeah me too anytime you say something or you share a sort a story they're always like yeah me too and I did this too um they change their hairstyle or their haircut to look like yours that's what I'm getting they're trying to be you for sure they are very foolish in their endeavors but I'm also uh, feeling spirit to tell you not to be foolish and deny what's in front of your eyes. Open your eyes because it is right in front of you. Be discerning. Watch their actions and their words. Do they match? Are they always a me too person in every story, everybody's story, especially your story, beloved? They want to make you look like a fool. Um, and spirits is letting you know, be mindful. Do not do foolish things. Do not fall for their trap. Uh, watch how they're responding to you, how closely they always want to be around you when you have something to offer. But if you need support, they quickly disappear with that hermit card. So spirit is reminding you, beloved, do not be a fool for this person. Open your eyes, understand what is happening in front of you. They, um, this person, this impersonator, they, they lack creativity. They lack their own inspiration. They have a lack of, of passion. And so they want everything you have. They want your creativity. They want to be creative like you. They want to be passionate like you. They want to inspire others like you, right? We have the 10 of pentacles showing up as well as temperance. Beloved, If you're not careful with this impersonator in your group, they're going to ruin more than just the friend circle. This, this is how serious this is. It will affect you so deeply that it knocks you off your current path and journey to freedom and true transformation and, and happily ever after if you're not careful. That's what I'm feeling with this Ten of Pentacles. And then with the Temperance card, you have to balance your emotions around this person. Because once you know who they are, you can't unknow it, right? <clears throat> you can't unknow it. It's something where you cannot come out of pocket. 
Do not let them drive you out of character because you figure out who they are and what their agenda is and how they're campaigning to be the leader. This is going to deeply hurt you because you thought they were someone you could trust. But Spirit is asking you to find that balance. There is a freedom in who you are and how you respond to people because you're not constrained or controlled by your emotions, beloved. That's what I'm feeling. Rely on your inner wisdom. Um, stay even keeled and you will have to cut them off. You will definitely have to cut them off, but don't do it in a nasty way because that's just not who you are, beloved. You're going to have to have balance with your emotional emotional state and your mental state when this person is revealed to you and you're not going to go bad mouthing them to the rest of the group that's not who you are the rest of the group will also see this the friend circle will also realize who they are and what they've been doing but spirit is reminding you beloved have a healthy balance it's it's more than okay to feel your emotions just don't let your emotions control you and then we have bad karma. Eight of cups. Mm -hmm. Yes. You have to walk away. You have to walk away from this person before the group is fully destroyed. Um, and again, not having to badmouth them because it will be seen by the rest of the friend circle. They will be revealed. As untrustworthy and basically a mimic, a lookalike, a wannabe, power hungry, thirsty, right? You're going to have to walk away. It's, it's interesting that you have to leave this behind, leave this individual behind. I'm not feeling spirit telling you to leave the entire friend circle. I can't even be sure how big this friend circle, this tight world of friends is for you. But I, it's a lot of eights here. Um, I'm feeling a lot of eight. Is, is your circle that big? It's eight of y'all. And it could very well be you could have been together for quite some time now. Years, maybe even close to a decade is how, how long you've been rocking with this world of friends of yours. But do not be delusional is what I'm feeling. Do not be delusional and thinking, oh, I can fix this. You cannot fix this person's behavior. You cannot fix this person's uh, karmic energy. That's only something they can do. That is not your pet project, beloved. That is not your uh, responsibility. You are going to have to walk away. Do not be delusional that you can fix them because they have a lot of bad karma and they continue to create bad karma by being a mimic. You have to move swiftly when this is revealed to you. When this is revealed to you, you have to take swift swift action. You cannot hum and haul because it will continue to show this bad seed in the group that, oh, I can continue to get away with it. I can continue to, to do what I want to do. I can continue to mimic and copy you, beloved. And nobody's going to do anything. They haven't done anything all this time. I can still do it. Learning this information, beloved, it is really taxing on your heart. I can feel that for you. Take some time to rest. Take some time to meditate. Ask your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, what do you need to do to get out of this seriously bad karmic friends circle with one less, this one person has to go meditate, sleep, journal on how you're feeling about this. Ask your spirit guides, angels and ancestors. What is what is it you're, you should be doing in a way that still honors you and honors your ancestors, angels and spirit guides. Again, not coming out of pocket. Right. And with their guidance, there will be justice for you. You will be vindicated and you won't have to bash them at all right there will the group will come back into balance because what i'm also feeling is like this group has been a little off kilter there could have been even a little bit of infighting for what we're not even sure like where did the infighting come from but you will have justice once this person is revealed and they are 
kindly moved out of the group. The group moves away. The friend circle moves away from this person. They're going to get a clue like, oh, I've been found out. I can't get away with this anymore. And so the, the lightness and the illumination of the world of friends you have, once this person is eliminated, that illumination will return. Things will feel lighter. Things will feel more smooth. Things will feel more balanced, right? And it will be a fair, a fair exchange of energy because right now the exchange of energy is quite off because this one person is an energy vampire and they're sucking the life out of the group. But more so than anyone, beloved, they're sucking your energy right out of you, unbeknownst to you. You may have been feeling slight headaches every now and again after you leave the presence of this person. Have you had... Um, negative energy after you've left the presence of this person. Those are signs how they're draining you of your light, unbeknownst to you, because you're just a light, love uh, kind of person. And so you give willingly with compassion and generosity. Things will come back into balance for you. It's unfortunate that we're seeing this, but on today's Sunday Tea Tarot, Spirit wants you to know what's in front of you. Keep your eyes open this week for this imposter, for this mimic, and make sure you consult your ancestors, angels, and spirit guides on a way to move that is honoring to yourself and to them. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next Sunday.